Hi guys, I'm back with another portfolio update. I hope you guys had a great weekend. So today's Monday and my portfolio value right now is at $89,008.40. In my CMA Edge account, that's my taxable account, there's $47,207.75. And in my Roth IRA, there's $41,800.65. So these are the holdings that are currently in my uh, taxable account. There's 100 shares of Boeing, 100 shares of Disney, 100 shares of Realty Income, 200 shares of Delta Airlines, 100 shares of AT&T, 200 shares of Bank of America, and 200 shares of Spirit Airlines. As for my options, I did have this uh, covered call on Boeing, but I got rid of that already. I replaced it with another covered call, a different one. Um, as you can see here, the strike price was 155 and this expires on 612. I basically replaced it with uh, this one. The strike price is at 230 and it expires 619. So that's next Friday. Um, this was for about 1,600 in premium. So if it expires worthless, then. I just get to keep the premium and my Boeing stock. Right now, is it's it's pretty much exactly at 230, so it's exactly at the strike price. We'll see what happens from here. All right, another one is my covered call on um, Realty Income. This one, the strike price was fifty-seven dollars and fifty cents, and expires on six nineteen. But I got rid of this one. I believe I replaced it, yeah, right here. I replaced it with this one. This one's strike price is $65 and expires 619 also. So next next Friday. And since I've got this, it's at 64, so it is under 65. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I just get to keep the premium. Um What else? Disney, yes. I I I rolled this one out too. So the original one was at uh, 121 strike price and that expires on 612. I got rid of that and then I sold this covered call for Disney. Uh, strike price 125 expiring 619. So a bunch of these, they're pretty much ex just expiring all on the same day, 619. That's next Friday. Hopefully we get a good result from that. This is another one too. I'm selling this covered call on Spirit Airlines. The strike price is 20 and it expires 619. Currently, I'm down most of my uh, covered calls, but we'll see what happens next week because, yeah, there's still some time before it expires, and I'm not really sure what will happen between now and then, but uh, I'll update you guys. So let's go down to my Roth IRA. So here's my Roth IRA. Here's my holdings in here. So I have 100 shares of REM. 400 shares of Spirit Airlines and 100 shares of SDIV and they're all up today they're all up in general they're just doing really good REM especially up 31% hold on let's go back to my uh, taxable account real quick so you can see here my best performing stocks right now are the airline stocks so we got Delta Airlines up about 80% that's insane and Boeing is up 41%. Even Spirit Airlines is up 24%. So all of the airline stocks that I've invested into, they're up by a lot. I'm really happy about that. So as for the covered calls, I do have a covered call on REM. The strike price is 24. It expires 619. Right now REM is at 29. So most likely these are going to get called away. Um, but what I'm expecting to do though is I want to get rid of this and roll it out to a different covered call because I, at this point I kind of feel like I want to keep REM for the long term. It's got a really nice dividend, 14%. Alright, so I have another covered call on Spirit Airlines, strike price 25. Also expiring 619, they're pretty much all expiring 619. Most of them anyways. And right now Spirit Airlines is pretty much at 25. So this is at the money. We'll see what happens from now till 619. 
Lastly, I have a covered put. This is a cash covered put that I'm selling for the $1 strike price. And this expires 717. So this this is later on. But this was very attractive for me because the premium was just so high. I'm getting basically about 30% return in premium worth of premium. Like the strike price is $1, right? But the premium I'm getting is about $3,000. As you can see here, my cost basis is negative $2,934. So if this expires and I don't get assigned the, the HTZ shares, I get to keep $3,000. So hopefully that's what happens. Um, because this is so volatile though, if things go my way before then, I might just end up um, closing it out before it reaches 717. For now, I'm down on most of my options that I'm selling, but that's for now. There's still, like I said, most of these are expiring on 619. That's next Friday, and we'll see what happens from then till the from now till then. These are the other options that I used to have. I already got rid of them, as you can see. These spaces are all blank because I've already closed them. But yeah, this was a covered call for... No, these, these aren't covered calls. These are covered puts. So this is a covered put, covered put for Realty Income. Another covered put for Citigroup. And another covered put for Delta Airlines. I already got rid of them. They were already at uh, like plus 90% of what I would have made anyway. So I thought, might as well get rid of them now. Lock in my gains. So that's what I did. So yeah, that's how my portfolio is doing right now. $89,000, not bad at all. Things have been going up so well lately. Especially for the specific stocks I've invested in, which is a lot of the airlines. And, you know, Boeing. People are returning to work. They're returning to just going out more. The theme parks in Orlando, they've been opening up. Like Universal. I believe Disney World is opening up soon too, so... Las Vegas, the casinos and the hotels, they're also opening up. So there's just so much more to go out and do now. That's why more people are traveling. If you actually look on the TSA Checkpoint website, you can see that the TSA numbers are gradually going up. Uh, last I checked, it was about 400,000. Uh, in the middle of April, it's only like 100,000. So the TSA numbers have pretty much quadrupled since then, which is such a huge leap you know things are moving at such a fast rate like we're seeing years worth of returns in such a short amount of time it's ridiculous you know because on average a lot of people say the S&P gains an average of about 10% a year but look at this like Delta Airlines already up 80% so that's like eight years worth of returns already it's crazy. At least that's how I think of it. Anyways, I'm really happy with how my portfolio is performing so far. I'll update you guys later on where things go from here. If it goes up, it goes, goes down. Thanks so much for watching my videos. Thank you. Bye.